Hello there. Now that we have seen the for loop in Python as well as we have also seen the mathematical operators to be used with Python, let's see one more looping structure just like for but which is called as while. Now while is something exactly similar to for which can perform iteration of some particular operation or some particular execution. But in for what happens is whatever is the initialization value, the ending value and the increment or decrement parameter. Everything is given in a single statement. So for is applicable when you know where you want to stop exactly executing the loop. But when you don't know where you want to stop the execution, in that case, you can use while loop. Now, how is the syntax? It's very simple. So the initialization is to be done manually, like a is equal to zero. While a less than 10, print a is equal to a and then increment or decrement operator is also to be given directly over here. Let's try it on. I'll take a new file and I'll just call it as while test. I'm saving all of these uh, codes at a particular location. Better if you also follow the similar syntax. So while test. So a is equal to 0 while a is less than 10 print a is equal to a and then a is equal to a plus 1. Now if you look at the sample then you might not see any difference between while and for because we are doing all of the things manually in for as well as while but while is used particularly when you don't know whether you want to increment it by one whether you want to decrement it by one or some external conditions are going to decide the nature of this operation in that case while is to be preferred you will better understand this when we see an example of the while loop for now let's just try this much of code and proceed further so similar to while uh, similar to if while can also be used with an else statement and there can be insertion of a break statement. Remember, a break statement is used whenever you want to exit the entire loop. And so, break can break the execution of while loop as well as the execution of the related else loop. So, this is pretty much simple code. A is equal to 1. While A is less than or equal to 3, what we are doing is we are taking the input B from the user. And then if B is 0, then we want to completely break means if the user inputs something like zero then we want to break completely otherwise the loop will continue the purpose of this exercise is only to understand the execution of break statement so inside while we have given a condition and in which there is a break statement just try it on it's pretty much simpler in this case i won't even uh, go and type the code instead i'll make all of this selection commented three single quotes and three single quotes at the end makes all the code commented and then this is my code the indentation is important so after pasting just do this backspace 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 and take the indentation to a proper location that's it so if I run it and if I enter 0, then else is not executed. But if I run it, if I give something as value of b, then it will just tick 3 times and loop exited without executing a break statement. So a was not less than as, as long as a was less than 3 it all executed and then else is executed so that's when you use or that's how you use this particular break statement so just try on this code and see how it goes for you thanks for watching this video